Welcome to Crystal's Closet. When you click on this button, you can be sure of two things. I'm gonna keep it fun and I'm gonna keep it real. Now, I thought I would start with something that I absolutely love and wear all the time, which are hats. Since I am a hat lover, I've learned a ton of things that I wanna share with you. This is a classic. It is a fedora. It is easy to wear, suitable for men and women. I really love this one because I like the underbrim, which is red. It just gives you a little something extra and it just fits perfectly on my head. When you want to wear a hat, think of drama. If you're into more drama, then the brim, this part here, would be wider. If you want less drama, then you want a shorter brim. So it all depends on what you're in the mood for. This one has a wider brim, so I love that it's very... Are you looking at me? If you want a floppy hat, then you get a brim that has some movement to it. So this is what's considered a floppy brim. Instead of it being stiff and straight, it's floppy. It, again, is a classic and it's gonna be super easy to put with almost anything from jeans to a really cute dress. This style is called the boater. Now when you think about it, the gondoliers in Venice have a hat that has no break in the crown. That's why they're called boaters. Again, this one's easy. I would say medium to large brim. So drama on a scale of one to 10, probably like a five. Now let's say you want to ease into the hat trend. Then do a cap, do it in a fun, bright color like this red, and I assure you, this is not much harder to wear than, let's say, a uh, baseball. Now, a flat cap. I have many. This one is years old, and it's actually a men's cap. So you can get a men's cap, you can get a woman's cap. It doesn't matter, they're genderless. I wear this all the time. It is an oldie but goodie from Century 21. If you feel really bold, then go with a bright color. This is two bright colors in one with, of course, a straight brim, but I wear it with all white and all black, and believe me, I'm answering questions when people say, where'd you get that? Now let's talk about how you wear your hat. There's two ways, traditional, which is like this, it sits about an inch above your eyebrow or halo where you tip it back and it almost seems like the hat is defying gravity. I'm a native New Yorker. I like my hat on my head and pushed all the way down. And ladies, when you wear your hair, keep in mind if your bun, if you put your hair up, is too high that it's gonna fight your hat. So you want it really down low and at the nape of your neck. So I hope you learned something fun about hats and this is convincing you to go try one because they're easy, they're not complicated, and they will always get you that, mm, I see what you did there. All right, thank you for joining me on this first Crystal's Closet. 